Good morning, everybody. It's day 15 of our little challenge, which means we're halfway through. And honestly, the days are just flying by. Um, Mark's already been up and out this morning, pottering around in the garden, doing some weeding and enjoying the sunshine. And you may have noticed that it takes me a little while longer to um, function in the mornings. <laughs> so I've been inside playing on my little language learning app. And I've learnt a phrase, which is raspberry tea, um, which is, do you understand? And I'm sure it's something that we've heard many times and not really known uh, what it meant. We were able to associate raspberry with understand. So we just kind of, we can assume off of that, they're asking, do you understand me? Um, but I thought with... With us knowing so many random words, like we said in the language barrier video, um, but not really been able to form sentences, that it would give me the confidence to try and create a sentence, knowing that I'm able to ask at the end, do you understand me? Um, so yeah, it's also officially spring. <laughs> When we were travelling to Pavlakeni yesterday, we saw lots of storks in the nests, which means the Baba Mata bracelet is coming off today, which I'm kind of sad about, but all the trees are starting to blossom, so I think it's time. So I've chosen to hang my little Baba Mata bracelet on this little marabella tree that self-seeded last year. Which branch? Yeah. There. Yep. Let's spin it around. Look at the little face on it. And what tree are you going to hang yours on, Mark? The apple tree. Okay, let's go. So it's supposed to bring you good luck as well. We. If you've seen some of the previous videos where we had like a hazelnut tree sapling and almond tree sapling, we had our last year Baba Mata bracelets on them. But our lack of knowledge, then we potted them, drenched them, and we just killed them by accident. So we're hoping we have more luck this year. Especially with the pomegranate. So last year we only got maybe like one cluster of apples off, on the, off this tree. Well, that's because we did heavily, uh, heavily prune it in the working holiday of, of the 2021. Mm, 2020. 2020, was it? Before we knew that how was. to prune or what, what to prune. I think I'm going to put it up here. Okay. Um, so we have got a lot of water sprouts on this tree, but we can't prune it too heavily because... We don't want to damage the tree further. Yeah, it's already gone through quite a, a big haircut. So yeah, that's mine. Whilst we're blessing these baby trees, we've had another catastrophe in the garden. Um, so I noticed that our neighbour's peach, peach tree, tree was uh, starting to bud. So I went to take a look at ours. And unfortunately, with a mixture of very badly timed pruning and it had red scab leaf last year. Yeah, when it did start to grow in the growing season last year, it very quickly got diseased. So I think the combination of the two has it's, totally killed off the yeah. tree. And you can see, usually you can snap them and there's a little bit of green inside, but it's all it's all disease ridden unfortunately you see, yeah there's just nothing left of it absolutely no sign of life inside these unfortunately so well, we are due to go back to vt this coming friday to do some more paperwork and finalization of anisha's residency card so we noticed last week that practica and the high street stores and the markets are selling the saplings and it could be the last call really. We don't want to leave it any too late. So we're going to pick up maybe one or two new plants, including a new peach tree, and plant as many as we can this time round to help the future food forest really. 
Yeah, so we are a bit gutted because when we chopped down the giant peach tree, we thought it's okay because we've, we've still got a young peach tree, so that should come through. Um, but now this one has gone, we are gonna try. It's all a learning curve. Yeah, um, but we're gonna try and populate this kind of area in front of the house with as many fruit trees as we can um, and use it as like a food forest. The next agenda then is to cut out the dead peach tree and we're going to fill the planter with wildflowers um, so it'll still look pretty. pretty strange now that the tree has gone. These trees kind of gave us a bit of a wall of privacy. Um, but yeah, never mind. Nice size plant of some flowers and things. So this afternoon we're gonna get on and do a bit more digging. Max already chipping away at it. What have we got for dinner? Bruschetta. Our favourite. So the peach tree isn't the only thing getting the chop today. It's time to cut Mark's hair. It's getting a little bit crazy. The, just a bit off the top. Mark's got his fresh new trim. Yeah, I might even have a beard trim next week. I did accidentally go into the line. Meh, meh, meh. It'll grow back, it'll be fine. Yeah, you're quite forgiving, really, aren't you? Yeah. Look, looking pretty good. Oop. Uh,. You just need to wash your hair because your hair's naturally curly, isn't it? Yeah. So you get all the flicky uppy bits. Yeah, that's me done for the day now. So the sun's going down now. It's been a bit of an odd jobs kind of day. Um, if you've watched this far, then thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you again tomorrow morning. Division in. <laughs>